Hey, what's going on, fellas, man? Renee Anthony here. Hot Shot Trucking and Travel. What's going on, guys? Hope everyone's staying safe out here, man. With this virus that's going around. Um, got my mask. Been wearing it. Um, you know, real important, guys, man. Um, just wanted to make a video and touch on a few things, man. Um, man, the rates right now are through the roof, huh? Man, everything out there is high, man. Boards are crazy, man. There's so many vehicles out there that need to be shipped, man. If you're sitting at home watching this, man, you need to get up and get out here, man. Make some money, man. You can't make no money sitting at home. There's tons of vehicles that need to be moved, man. Everywhere, man. It's really, really a busy, busy time out here, man. And the rates are great, man. I want to thank all the brokers, man, out there, man, who are watching this, man. Thanks for the rates. Those rates have definitely increased. I'm not sure what's going on, but... These are the highest I've ever seen the rates out here, actually, man. Really, really good, man. Really, really good. But, um, hope everyone out there is making a lot of money, man, you know? <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I wanted to make a video here on, um, just cover a few different subjects, man. You know, I learned a few things about, uh, my truck. I, I have a Ram 2018 5500 6.7 turbo diesel 4x4 and um i get a lot of questions people ask me um you know what's the best truck to get and well i mean you know my opinion obviously is the ram um because i bought one um but i did a lot of research before i bought it and um right now i currently have on this one about a hundred and um almost one hundred and fifty thousand miles on it and um <clears throat> I've been blessed with it, to tell you the, the truth. You know, it's been a, a really, really good truck uh, for the most part. I did have one issue with my def system, but to be honest with you, I kind of think it was my fault. What I did was I put a, a, a oil container in the back, and I always like to carry around spare oil. You never know what might happen. So I always carry around a spare, uh, you know, uh, two and a half gallons of, of oil sorry for the shakiness too man i'm driving it and i have you up here but um what happened was i had it in the back next to my fuel tank and it vibrated and it the bolt on my fuel tank broke a hole inside of the actual um, um oil container and the oil spilled out went all over the bottom of my truck and i think it damaged the sensor on my def system cost me about six to eight grand trying to figure that out no one could figure it out they kept blaming everything else but at the end of the day uh somebody did figure it out and that's what it ended up being um but other than that man i gotta you know hats off to the to ram um you know the, the truck is a beast the engine you know you have a, a cummings diesel um 6.7 the engine alone is really why i bought this truck um i don't really like dodge that much um Dodge is, you know, their customer service is horrible. So when I had that issue with my def system, they didn't want to help, man. It was just horrible, pointing fingers, blaming me for everything. Um, but we ended up figuring it out. I mean, I'm thankful for that. But yeah, the one thing I wanted to talk about was the turbo on the trucks, you know. Um, I did a lot of research recently because I thought my turbo was making a funny noise. And um, I took it to a mechanic and he said everything is fine with it from what he sees. No codes coming up or anything. But in, during the process, I did a lot of research on turbos. And one of the things that I wasn't doing was when I start my truck, I would just start it up and I say, oh, it's a brand new truck. I'm just going to start driving. And really, to be truthful, that's not what you're supposed to do. And if I'm not looking at the cameras because I'm driving, guys, I'm sure you can see in the mirror. I'm out here working, man. Um, I wish I could stop at a gas station and make these videos. But, man, I got to make money. Rates are too high and I got to move. But, um... You know, so doing this research, I found out that, you know, when I start my truck, you're supposed to let it run for about three minutes roughly before you move. And what that does is warm up your oil, which makes it supposed to be better for the turbo. Um, it, 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 it thins out the oil some, and it, I guess it allows it to get into the turbo. Um, this is from what I've read and spoke to, you know, my mechanic was talking to me about it and everything. And I asked him, well, how can I prove life? my turbo is there any, anything i could put into it you know i'm hoping to get 300,000 miles out before i have to replace my turbo um turbos cost about 2500 if you buy them um the oem 
and um, you don't have to pay somebody to put it in or you can put it in yourself from what I've heard they're not the easiest to put in um, but when I do mine I'll probably try to do mine myself um, but not sure I haven't had to do it yet keep my fingers crossed but yeah um, so basically you're supposed to start the vehicle let it run for three minutes and then you can go ahead and go another thing that I had no idea about is after you're driving let's say because I drive for long spurts you know I have two extra fuel tanks so I'm able to drive by 1100 miles without stopping and after driving long distances when you stop you're supposed to let the vehicle run for three minutes and what that does is it cools down the temperature of the oil and the engine and and the turbo and it gives it the time to to relax you don't want to just shut it off because what happens when you go to restart it it's bad for the turbo and this is what i've read so i'm just sharing what i've read with you and i just implemented that into my habit does it really work or not <clears throat> not sure but I can tell you um, it doesn't hurt to do it uh, extra three minutes on either side is not gonna hurt me it's not gonna break me it's not gonna do anything but if it could help the turbo or my engine in any way I think it's worth it to do it at 150,000 miles I want to get at least 300,000 out before I have to change the turbo or anything else another thing was my def system so the def system on this truck you know it gets, it gets a lot of bad uh, publicity and I understand why, you know, it, 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 it put me in the lit mode before I had to go to dealerships without because of the sensor. Recently, what it did was within a thousand miles, it did the regeneration process twice. And if it tried to do it again, it would have put me into lit mode as well. And I would have had to have gone to a dealership. Well, doing more and more research, I, I wanted to find, is there anything, any way to clean the def system? So I called around. And, and you can, most radiator shops, a lot of radiator shops, you could take your actual def, um, um, the whole system off, and it's two parts. Uh, one part's called a DOC, and the other one's a particular filter. And you take those parts to them, and they put it in this big oven, and they bake everything off. And um, uh, they, they sometimes have to cut it, and then bake it, and then re-weld it back together um, to get it out. I haven't done it yet, and the reason I'll tell you why I have not done it was because they weren't sure after they clean it, when I put it back on, would the vehicle start. There's a chance it, it, you would have to do a hard reset, and the only way to do that is to take it to the dealership. What I'm scared of is when you go to a dealership, the dealerships are going to not want to do it without you replacing the def system or doing something, because they're going to say, all oh, the cleaning damaged the truck. So I was scared to do it, so I never did it, but what I did do was... I did some more research and I found a product and let me see if I can find it. So this product here, okay, you'll see this in the store. It's made by Lucas, okay? But be careful because there's two types. There's one type that you I want you to buy is this one. You see it says DPF cleaner right here. The DPF cleaner is what you want. There's gonna be another bottle that looks exactly alike and it does not say DPF cleaner on it. It has to say DPF cleaner because they are not the same product. I actually emailed Lucas and asked them because I wasn't sure. I thought it was the same product. Lucas replied back and said it was not the same product. That this cleans your particular filter. What it does is, the way it cleans your particular filter is it, it helps it burn at a higher temperature so all the soot and everything gets actually burned off of your particular filter and your DOC as well. So what I've been doing is every third fill up, I'll add one of these to my tank, okay? And it might be too much, but it's $17.99 for this bottle. It's a little bottle. It costs $17.99. You could buy it at um, Advance, Auto, AutoZone, um, O'Reilly's. It's hard to find though. Not not everybody carries it okay you can look it up online as well and there goes a better uh, view of it right there okay and it's made by Lucas this I honestly believe has helped me out and um, where I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully it's cleaning out my my particular filter for me so I don't have to take it off and take it to um, uh, a shop to bake it off but other than that man you know that that's really my take I just wanted to share that with you because I, I learned this recently and um, I know a lot of y'all out here are driving these trucks with the uh, um, def systems in them, and I thought that would be very useful. And also the turbo thing, you know, for me, that was 
Um, you know, I never ever did that to be honest with you. You know, I thought that was only for older trucks. I had no idea it was for newer trucks as well, you know. And you know, I'm sure some people will get on here and say that it's not and it doesn't matter and everything else. But you know what? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a mechanic. I didn't go to school for it. But I have talked to a bunch of mechanics. They've all told me the same thing. And you know what? An extra three minutes in the beginning and the three minutes at the end is not going to hurt me. And if it's going to help, it'll help. Oh, yeah. One more thing they told me is idling the truck. I know a lot of us like to stop and idle our trucks. Um, you know, you're relaxing. You got the AC on, radio blasting, and you want to idle your truck. That is the worst thing you can do for your def system, for the particular filter, for the DOC. It is the worst thing. It creates the most soot and the most um, 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 carbon buildup um, than any other way. Idling is the worst thing for your truck, okay? So, you know, that, that was another thing I learned as well. So I've stopped idling at all. Um, when I stop, I'm trying to make it a habit, turn my truck off, um, wait three minutes, turn the truck off. It doesn't matter if I'm going to the bathroom, if I'm gonna pee on the side of the road, Whatever it is, you know, I'm going to turn the truck off if I'm going to be more than five minutes from where I'm at, you know. Now, if I'm going to be real quick, just pee and then get back in the truck, that's a different story. But if you're going to actually be stopping anywhere to eat, going to the gas station, take a doo-doo, whatever it is, you know, make sure you turn, you know, turn your truck off and stop that idling, man, you know. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you, man, and, and hopefully we'll get 300,000 miles out this um, Ram here, man. She's been treating me good so far, you know, and um, a few scares during it, but nothing major yet, you know. Um, I just wanted to share that, guys. Hey, thanks for watching my channel, too, man. I really appreciate it. Y'all be safe out there with this virus, you know. Make sure you wash your hands, man, and wear that face mask if you can, you know. I know that's, that's a question a lot of people, oh, why should I have to wear a face mask? Listen, you don't have to wear a face mask. Nobody has to do anything. But if it could help you or help your family but also help somebody else, there's a lot of older people that can't survive this virus. We might be able to survive it. You know, you might be strong. We might be strong and, and, and beat it, you know. But by you wearing a mask, you might not catch it and you won't be able to pass it on to somebody older, you know, a grandma or grandpa or somebody like that who won't be able to survive, man, you know. So I just want to share that with y'all. Thank you so much, man, for watching my channel. Please, hey, I am on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you can. Um, Hot Shot Trucking and Travel, man. I really appreciate it, guys. And subscribe here, man. Click that subscribe button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. You know, I'm going to be putting more videos up. I know I've been out for a while, man. But I'm definitely going to start putting more videos up. I really like it, man. I just got to find the time to do it. And I'm trying to make time to do it, guys. But y'all take care, okay? Renee Anthony here. Hot Shot Trucking and Travel. South Beach Transport. Say hi to Gary. Gary! Hey. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all take care.